Welcome everyone, Questine here on Serious Gaming with my playthrough of Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2. Yes, this is still the beta, but they've actually revealed some, or just today, that your progress in the campaign that you made in the beta will carry over, so you will be able to use your saves. So, I am going to play through both of uh, the Imperial Navy campaign and Necron campaign, what I have available in the beta, to set up save states. For when the game comes out fully. The Imperium of Man, a million worlds scattered across an uncaring galaxy, a million worlds forever under threat from the machinations of cursed traitors and perfidious Xenos. It is an empire consumed by war, by the very battle for survival itself, for there is no peace amongst the stars. The Space Marines, genetically modified warriors who know no fear, spearhead every counter-assault, taking the battle to the heart of the foe. From the smoke-wreathed horror of Adeptus Mechanicus Forge Worlds sail warships of fearsome potency, their weapons blessed by the Machine God, and their crews dedicated to the Omnisire's holy cause. The Scola Progenium molds callow flesh into leaders, officers of the Imperial Navy, the greatest fleet ever to span the stars. These heroes dedicate their life to the Imperium's defense, confronting the ceaseless threat of chaos wherever it manifests. The war against the Dark Gods and their worshippers is the eternal battle for the soul of mankind, for the future of the galaxy itself. It is the forge upon which true heroes are struck and legends tempered. Admiral Spire is one such legend, savior of the Gothic Sector, vanquisher of Warmaster Abaddon's 12th Black Crusade. For centuries he has been lost, trapped in the shifting tides of the Immaterium, while in pursuit of the hated foe. Such travails would drive an ordinary man to madness, or into the clutches of the very gods he once opposed. But Spire is no ordinary man, and his time is coming once more. We're out. Praise the Emperor, but I can see the stars again. Receiving distress hymnals. The region's alive with them. According to the timestamps, Admiral. The year. It's 999M41. We've been lost in the warp for over 800 years. And Cadia, the hymnals report that. It's been destroyed, sir. There's a lot of confusion out there, sir. And Admiral. Cadia fell at Abaddon's hand. Then we are returned not a moment too soon. Navigator, chart a course to the Cadian system. We may be an age too late to join the battle, but revenge is still within our grasp. Warp engines online. Geller Field holding. This is Admiral Spire to all Imperial vessels. Rally at coordinates 154-554. This isn't over. Alright, so we have the first battle over here. Cruiser, light cruiser, escort vessel, and then the space marines with their strike cruiser. Or a light cruiser, strike cruiser. Anyway, this. Not really a difficult battle. Such turbulence. Not since the Eye of Terror have I felt anything like it. Alright. Wait. This is not the Cadian system. Navigator, report. The Immaterium writhes, Lord Admiral. It has flung us far off course. I can see that, Domitian. Where are we? Star sights indicate we've entered real space in the Cadian sector. Confirmed. Not too far, but not close enough. Still, we have been fortunate. Have our astropath send out a hymnal. All surviving vessels in the sector to rally at our position. Cadia needs our aid. Warship signatures inbound, Lord Admiral. Chaos vessels. Indeed. Then our retribution begins. 
We hold this position. What is this? All right. Spell? Another so-called warrior come to chance his blade. I am Lord Admiral Spire. Let's I will do be this. your death. Not this day, Lapdog. My lieutenants come to claim your skull. It shall adorn the War Master's throne. It will die. We shall see. Ready main batteries. Let's go. Coordinates acknowledged. Lord Admiral, the sons of Mars them. stand ready for your orders. Excellent. Their firepower will be a great asset. Realign these guys. Well met, Fabricator. How many ships do you bring me? All that could be found, Lord Admiral. I regret that we bring enemies on our heels. Duty breeds enemies, Fabricator. Join your fire Here to they ours. come. We'll see them ended. Changing course. All right, so we got two um, raiders over Engaging there. Engaging engines. Or the bastards. Heading acknowledged. Optimal course set. Get them out of there. Course engaged. Targeting and enemy board vessel. Them. With matchless efficiency. Engaging drive. Right. With matchless efficiency. Oh. Yeah, ram them. Calculating vectors. It's gonna burn up. Alright, that one is dead. That's Doing a repair. Of them, my lord. Negative. They were but the tip of the spear. I All right. calculate that the others will soon arrive. Let's reposition the fleet not. then. I led a fleet through the bleakness of the Gothic War. By comparison, this is nothing. Yeah, realign the fleet a over pity there. That war cost us our greatest heroes. But I wouldn't give to have Captain Abradol at my side. All decks report ready. Good. That's destroyed. We shall forge new heroes this day. Okay. Let us hope they suffice. The spirits obey. It seems they've come in strength, Lord Admiral. All ships. The Emperor protects. Engage at will. Survival probabilities are unfavorable. Recommend we withdraw. Not All so ships. fast. Hold position. Doubt forms the path to damnation. There is no doubt while strength abides. Beneficent Emperor. All right, send these guys is that in. what I think it is? The sons of dawn heed your call, Lord Admiral. It's good to see vessels of the Adeptus Astartes, Captain. Faith is well enough, but hope and faith bring victory sooner. The war never ends, Lord Admiral. We shall fight it together for the Emperor. All right, gonna get oh, those course. space marines closer. Rouse the engines. Should I board them or bomb them? Probably bomb Underway. them. Understood. All right, realign. Setting course. Heading acknowledged. Engaging engines. They're still at the escort over there. To where we are needed. Let's just bore them, finish them off like that. Coordinates acknowledged. Changing course. Understood. Alright, victory. Engaging! Last traitor vessel destroyed, Lord Admiral. No further signatures. And allied ships? Nothing more. Others may be inbound. We can wait no longer. Let stragglers seek our trail amongst the dead. We have a fleet. I must confer with Lord High Admiral Drangas how best to employ it. We will have vengeance for Cadia. All right, that's uh, the first. The master. challenge before us is bleak, but we shall prevail if the Emperor wills it. The despoiler will be driven back, but we need support. We must secure planetary systems within the battle zone. These will provide us the necessary means to strengthen our fleets. 
All right, so it goes over various aspects over here. None of these really matter. Demios Binary has much to offer our future operations, but it is occupied by Chaos forces. We shall sweep them aside and restore the Emperor's rule to this stolen world. All right, so Demios Binary. Free there movement. Will be many risks in the days to come. I need not take one here. Deploying a second fleet to Demios Binary will ease our victory. I would deploy all three fleets. Victory is all but certain, but caution must serve as well as haste. Recklessness is a terrible master. All right, we have a battle. Let me launch it. So, chaos. 10,000 years have passed since the galaxy burned in the fires of the Horus Heresy. 10 millennia since the greatest of the Emperor's Primarchs fell into the grasp of eternal damnation and tore the galaxy asunder. Horus Lupercal may be dead, his body ashes and his memory the stuff of a cursed legend. But the wounds he wrought yet gape in the hide of an embattled Imperium. For the battle against Chaos knows no end. Many of Horus' servants survived the civil wars, and they have not forgotten their defeat. When the War Master fell, they retreated to the Eye of Terror and waged battle anew. Greatest of these was Abaddon the Despoiler, Horus' greatest living heir. Abaddon took the title of War Master for his own and embarked upon a long and bloody campaign to succeed where his fallen master had failed. Twelve Black Crusades he launched against the Imperium of Man. Twelve world-shattering campaigns to forever alter the balance of power. Now, as the Millennium draws to a close, a vast armada of traitors slips its moorings as Abaddon launches his 13th and perhaps final strike. As the tide of chaos breaks against the Cadian Gate, the Imperium holds its breath. Faith alone cannot hold back these bleak waters. Only valor will serve. Alright then. So that's the Chaos Intro Cinematic. I'll be fighting through them. And I'll explain what I'm dealing with to get past these choreographed moves path forward is. Anyway, uh, battle ahead. Cruiser, light cruiser and escort vessel on my side against one light cruiser and one escort or two escorts on their side. Pretty easy affair, really. And keep in mind the losses that you might suffer, the da ship damage, all that stuff Engaging that you might engines. suffer in the first battle Changing course. does not carry over here. Understood. Underway. Coordinates acknowledged. Right, I'm gonna launch an auger probe. Setting course. I have stasis bomb, plasma bomb, you name it. Those plasma bombs that Spires has. The enemy has Oop, seized a that was actually area. a misclick. Course engaged. Ship ready. Coordinates acknowledged. All right, I need to get closer. We wait your command. Heading acknowledged. I'm gonna slow it down a bit. Machine spirit appears. Changing course. All ahead, full! Engaging engines! The enemy has seized a strategic area. Enemy sighted! Understood. Aye, Admiral. Impossible, Admiral. Alright. Lock, Lock on. on. Optimal course set. Your orders? They do Underway. have fires burning in them. We serve. Thruster routines active. Setting course. 
I can Maximum ram it. Burn. Engaging target. Or not. Engaging drive. Target locked in. Transition begun. State your order. Aye, Admiral. Go for it. Last pass, bum bum. Optimal course set. The enemy right. has seized a strategic area. The enemy has seized a strategic go, area. Go, go, go. Ship ready. The enemy has accumulated 25% of strategic points. Not really an issue. So when the full game comes out, the they may... Utter the canticles of battle. Okay, no. They may or may not allow you to disable the victory points on the game launch. They will give you that option. Rouse the engines. At one point or another, anyway. Oh, Calculating I vectors. Battle protocols engaged. There we go. Victory. Right, first proper battle, as in the sense that the troops you lose, the ship damage and all that does carry over. But it doesn't matter because the next two turns, anyway, you're gonna be doing practically nothing. Orders, you'll move on. I have time to waste over here. Ship experience, okay, renown points, etc. Our first victory is ours. Others will follow should we remain true to our duty. Battles leave scars. I must be mindful of my vessel's condition. The reclamation of Demios Binary has taken our enemy by surprise. The Claustrum system is exposed. We shall push our advantage. If the fleet is to grow, we must have access to production facilities. If Claustrum falls to our forces, we shall have them. So the thing about Cadia, you can't really take Cadia itself, but you might take Xercia or Cantrell. These are... you have a Forge world over here in Cantrell, you have a Hive world here. These are the four worlds, you have Demios, Belisar, Cantrell, Xercia, that actually produce resources. Anyway, moving the Ad Adeptus Astartes fleet as ordered, and ending my turn. All right, they got the minefield. That's the second turn. Our shipyards are ready to provide us some reinforcements. Time to see what the Adeptus Mechanicus have to offer our crusade. Demios Binary Shipyard isn't capable of full production just yet. We'll use Clauston for now, and wait until Demios is capable of crafting larger vessels. Clauston shipyards are small, but can provide us with recon ships. These will be valuable assets for our operations. Big guns are nothing if not deployed with grand purpose. All is prepared. It is time to welcome a new vessel to the Emperor's service. The reconquest of the Cadian Sector can now proceed. However, we cannot leave our holdings without defenses. We should at least deploy an orbital minefield. We have only just begun. War is replete with opportunity. As ground is seized, new objectives will arise. Let us proceed. We are the Emperor's fist. Let his foes tremble at our coming. All right, ending that turn. And they reinforced Xercia. Okay. Not the significant The issue. systems we have reclaimed are developing well. All right. Prosperous Upgrade systems the system. can only be a good thing for our cause. We will protect them. Receiving communication from the Vox Relay. It is Lord High Admiral Drang. So the old man's still alive. I told you he was too tough to kill. Admiral Spire, I trust you stand ready for orders. 
Always. Good. Strategically and symbolically, the Cadian Sector is vital to our efforts. You will reclaim it, Admiral. The Emperor protects. Understood. The Emperor protects. All right, the the counteroffensive in Cadia. Now, if I can use my ships. Well, there are a couple of options available for me. I could actually march on Xerxia, take out their fleet. I wouldn't be able to take that in Cadia. But if I take Xerxia, that would certainly be a huge boost, wouldn't it? I think I might just fucking do it, really. Um... It is a way of doing things, I guess. Alright, I did save. Wait, uh... Let, let me just save in a proper fashion. Imp 1. Yeah. Okay. What I'm going to do over here... Let's see what we can construct. We can get light cruisers. What I'm going to do is... Grab... An Adeptus Astartes. Think Mark. What do we have? This is a uh, light lance versus bom light bombardment. Okay, light bombardment will do. Do I have enough points? Yes. Can I actually add more shit to this? How many points? Well, I could add a Nova, but no. We are bringing to bear everything we got. This will be quite the battle. If I win, I take a hive world. If I lose, well, I'll pay a pretty hefty price, won't I? But that's the risk. And it is the smart way of actually playing this. I want to go for decisions like this, turn down the line. Much turn down the line. Anyway, I have a cruiser, they have a light cruiser, whatever, so... I'm, I should be able to win. Let the battle, or rather slaughter, commence. Well, I can't say I'm particularly pleased by the decisions that the computer has made for me, but at least in terms of fleet deployment, I'll uh, put these guys... Okay, these guys will go in reload stance, he will go in lock-on stance, and we will be going... All ahead, full. Course engaged. Let me speed this up a bit. We stand ready. Maximum burn. At your command. You have seized a strategic area. The enemy has seized a strategic area. Keeping in mind the torpedoes. We wait your command. You have seized a strategic area. All right. Where should we strike? Hold on, slow it down Underway. a bit. Wait, wait, wait. I am listening. Underway. At your command. Course engaged. I am listening. You have seized a strategic area. Enemy sighted. Coordinates acknowledged. Boarding teams have crippled the enemy. Initiate Thunderhawk bombardment. Yeah, Thunderhawk bombardment. Heading acknowledged. Enemy sighted. Changing course. Give us purpose. Moving to position. New vector acknowledged. Boarding course critical damage. Setting course. The enemy has seized a strategic area. Impossible, Admiral. Show us the enemy. Maximum burn. Okay. Understood. I'll get them. We stand ready. Your orders? 
Almost there. Impossible, Admiral. We wait your command. Repositioning. Full speed. It will be destroyed. Ship ready. Hold course. Enemy sighted. Well, they're going to go down soon. Enough. Engines engaged. Ship ready. Underway. Oh, they actually have a lot more than I expected them they would have. Give us purpose. Moving to position. You have accumulated 25% of strategic points. Aye, Admiral. Acquiring new vector. Reporting successful boarding action. The enemy is seizing one of your strategic areas. All right, that's the Drifting Hulk. Give us purpose. All ahead full. We serve. Underway. The enemy has seized a strategic area. Impossible, Admiral. Boarding caused critical damage. Initiate Thunderhawk bombardment. Engaging engines. Stellar drifting hole. Show us the enemy. Coordinates acknowledged. Underway. Where shall we strike? Engines engaged. Main batteries fire. Your orders? Target locked in. All right, ram them. Show us the enemy. Engaging target. Where shall we strike? I'll get Engaging them. Engaging engines. The enemy has accumulated 25% of strategic points. Impossible, Admiral. All right, I should be able to repair those engines soon. Execute high energy turn. Setting course. Impossible, Admiral. Our borders have caused internal damage. To where we are needed. Tech Marines, calm the machine spirits. All right, that's the drifting hulk. For the Emperor. I am listening. Full speed. There's Scott Lynn. You have accumulated 50% of strategic points. Take that point over there. Targeting enemy vessel. Launch Thunderhawks. We wait your command. And that was a fairly early victory that gave me uh, that will give me a fairly significant advantage we wait your command underway the question is repositioning uh, there we go we serve Engaging engines i am listening heading acknowledged Force engaged. All ahead full. The enemy has accumulated 50% of strategic points. You have seized a strategic area. For where we are needed. Boarding successful. Okay, that's another one. Repositioning. Send those bombers in. Where should we strike? You have accumulated 75% of strategic points. Their engines are gone. Engines engaged. Their crew is taking quite the beating. Successful teleport strike. And a victory.
Well, it might be damaged, but it's still got a hell of a punch. Besides, how many ships could they possibly have over there? I've defeated the more powerful fleet just now. The income bonus will certainly be very welcome, and with Zuria under my control, I will also get more resources, especially once I upgrade it, which will be soon. I'll also take Azeltra Miner, which will give me another Akrai World, and then I'll start working on either getting Kadia up or, uh, or who knows, maybe from us, Cantrell. That kind of stuff. I might want to leave Kadia for last, though it is not a big deal at this particular point. Okay, let's launch this battle. Orca. Okay. 510 versus 459. Leadership is set. Let's fight this battle. Win this battle. I'll try and keep this one this time around out to the fight. Understood. Okay. Give us purpose. Changing course. We stand ready. That is a cruiser. The enemy has seized a strategic area. Setting course. Or rather, I should say, All right, slow down. Sighted. Changing course. Launch Thunderhawks. Understood. Ship ready. Heading acknowledged. Aye, Admiral. Assault crews report success! Show us the enemy! At your command! Not too hard. Impossible, Admiral! Your orders? We are! Course engaged. That's the second one. Ship ready. We wait your command. The enemy has seized a strategic area. Initiate targeting protocols. Impossible, Admiral. The enemy has seized a strategic Let's send those area. In. I am listening. Obliterate that target! Engaging engines! We stand ready! Where shall we strike? Underway! Give us purpose! Repositioning! Alright, take the Understood. point. Understood! Burn retros! Your orders? I'll take that one with relative ease. We serve. Underway. You have seized a strategic area. The enemy has seized a strategic area. Course engaged. Show us the enemy. The enemy has accumulated 25% of strategic points. I'll just wait with you have a bit with Spire. A strategic area. Coordinates acknowledged. He, after all, can warp jump. Enemy sighted. Oh. Hold course. Engines engaged. Where shall we strike? Hold on. Initiate Thunderhawk Bombardment! Ship ready. We stand ready. Our 
rock cannot be denied. You have accumulated 25% of strategic points. Your orders? To where we are needed. We serve. Engaging right, engines. Let me hit them with Melta torpedoes and continue. Changing course. Go, go, go Spire. Setting Come course. on, hit it. Hit it. Target locked in. The greatest strength of the Imperial Navy, the armor prow. Hi, Admiral. We wait your command. And it's a victory. That was just the start here. High Command has granted its blessing to our work. Our fleets grow in capacity. The enemy will be mobilizing. A watchful eye must be kept on their systems. We now have the opportunity to forge a new fleet. Well, that was a pretty good start to all things concerned. So, I've taken uh, Xersia. Now, Cantrell and Cadia are going to be a very different affair entirely. I might need to take all of my fleets just to rush Cadia itself. And I'll probably have to deal with pockets of resistance and from us and all that. But, for a moment, I'd say this is a magnificent uh, success so far. The Emeos binary needs an upgrade. So, I can... Uh, get that shipyard in order. I just don't have the resources right now for it. But I will soon enough. Yes, with this hive world and then eventually this forge world, it will be enough. Kostin here on Steroids Gaming, signing out. Stay tuned for more. This is just the start of a very long journey, I imagine. <laughs>